hi guys in this tutorial we are going to see how to validate form input in spring mbc so here we are going to use spring boot and thyme leaf and we are writing java base annotation to validate the field we are not going to write any validator class and we are not going to validate each field here ok so let's get start let's create a spring boot application add the artifact here form validation change the description here form validation using spring boot and time leaf change the package here com dot java tech kit dot spring dot validate dot api add the required dependency let me add the wave as we are going to perform the mbc pattern add the lombok to ignore the getter setter we no need to write manually if you are going to add the lombok then what else add the dev tools to auto restart our server then add the time leaf to work with ui component let's import it ok application imported let me increase the size ok so now let's create a DTO class here I am going to write here itself class suppose I am writing person ok add some field private string name then private string email then private string mobile ok we will create a form page using HTML with these three fields and we will validate them <coughs> So let me add the Lombok provided annotation. Add no argument constructor. Okay, so let's write the controller. So write a method who will return the form page that should be a get method something like so form register ok so let's create a html page using this same name inside template new html let's ok 
and in this register.html we will declare these three fields ok so bind empty object here which is our DTO this should be get mapping so write one more method who will going to validate the input something like pub public string validate or else you can write register give the input and validate it so we have the input person which is the our DTO having three fields name email and mobile so we need to validate these three fields so to validate it we are going to use your java annotation so let's see what are the annotation available so not null you can write okay this field should not be null okay and you can specify the size means the length of that minimum and maximum I am going to write mean length should be 2 and max length should be uh, suppose 10 and I want to give a message if the length exceed uh, 10 then it will uh, print the message what we mention here ok so write the message like length should be in between 2 to 10 ok similarly for email you can write you can use your the regular expression and you can give the message here invalid email pattern or something you can write so this email regular expression let me copy similarly you can mention here like not empty ok and you can specify the message here email field should not be empty similarly so here write like pattern then specify the regular expression here to validate the mobile something like it should be start from either 7 to 9 and the digit should be 0 to 9 and it will be repeat up to 9 times so you can specify the message here uh, mobile invalid mobile number ok invalid mobile number and mobile number length should be 10 maximum length should be 10 if you are not adding the country code so let's mention the max length should be uh, 10 and write the message digits should be 10 ok for these three fields we added the validation and this is the server side validation ok now validate here 
it will give the error if there is any validation failing okay so first check that if errors dot has errors then return same page the page name is our register with the error fields else return some dummy value like return to same page with some value so to return the model object to the ui we need to bind it with model so let's import it okay so let's bind it in model model dot add attribute something like message and the message name should be like something registration successfully and this should be a post method and specify the URL so in first URL it will bind the empty person object so that's why it is the get with the um, uh, slash and here with same object it will send to this particular register method ok what else ok so now let's write the form page here so let's copy paste it from uh, w3 school okay let me copy this one okay <coughs> so similarly change the title here form validation example as we are going to use time leaf here so we need to write the namespace here xmlns colon th http dot time leaf dot org ok and we have the we have three field one is the email and the other one is our mobile so change here so let's add one more field that is the name something like label for name name and change the name here this should be type text enter name this is for uh, email this is for mobile it should be text ok now we have the three input field let's add the action like the url slash so specify the empty object as well so for that you need to specify something like action with dollar slash then add the empty object object 
object is our person add the dollar here then you can specify the method type method type is post ok and to display the error what exactly uh, like the field we validate and the message we are providing from the server side to display that we need to add that error field here in each field th field then the field is name so same field we are adding on the that input field and we are going to display it separately so to display it let me copy that syntax this is a timely expression we need to follow if has error for name then display the same name which we are getting from this uh, this field ok so similarly write the same syntax for each field for email for mobile as well so here change it to mobile here also change it to mobile and write this copy this field here change here to mobile similarly copy this field here for uh, email write it to email and change here as well ok so this th field will add the error validate error message here and we are checking if this field has error then display that error ok what else ok so let's run now application is open port 8080 and one is the get and another one is the post method with the url backslash ok so let's check it now from the browser localhost ok registration for name i am not giving any input let's submit it it's returning the error what do we bind in our validate field ok you can check for name it's showing length should be in between 2 to 10 you can check here and email invalid email pattern as we are not giving anything and it, this field should not be empty for mobile number also it's giving the message let me add something Okay. now for this field only error cause we are not giving anything so here this error is showing here right so let's add the alert bootstrap so that it will be more graphical uh, where is the danger let's add this class so that the error will be displayed in the red color ok this is the error uh, 
and after this field add a break add a line so that it will be display properly okay so now let's refresh our page you can check here it's showing invalid mobile number let's remove this one it's showing invalid email pattern like this okay this is the error we are getting so let's add uh, proper details then we will check java other at gmail.com mobile number something like nine nine one two three four five six seven eight okay now we give the proper input we are getting we are not getting any response as what we are returning from our controller we are not displaying that in our HTML page okay so let's display that h1 or else write it outside th colon text okay and just align it to center now let's check we are giving the same and invalid mobile number y let me check with any other eight eight 8763123456 invalid mobile number i did something wrong in the pattern Seven two zero zero two nine. Let's restart it. Let's refresh it. Okay, now registration successfully with these fields. Suppose we have hundred fields and we are getting error means all field details what you added it should be there and where is the error it will display that and you need to modify that okay so let's try once again name give the name basant give the mobile number 876 something we are getting proper response okay and remove one field and add we are getting the error here okay this is the way we can do the server side form validation so that's it about this particular video if anyone have any doubt or concern you can add a comment and thanks for watching this video